Okay, so the question, how to become an ethical hacker in 2022. This is going to take you from knowing nothing to landing a job. So here we go. The steps are easy, but the road is long. This is something you need to know coming right out of the box. It's really not that hard. You just got to read a lot. And the road is long, meaning it isn't just going to happen uh, in a week or two or even in a month. Just have your goals set realistically, which I would say at least a year for this to to happen if you're a complete beginner. So it's easy to do, but it takes a long time. So this is my do not list. These are things to not do. So the first one is do not go to college. Do not waste your time going to college. You're not going to learn a whole lot. I have two master's degrees and a PhD. I would not do it over. I would skip college altogether and just go straight into self-learning and I would, I would go that route. If you're wondering, is it worth it to go to college? MIT actually offers their cybersecurity graduate course for free. And I'll link it down below in the description. And when I listened to this, somebody pointed it out to me not too long ago. When I listened to that, I thought this is uh, very elementary. You're not going to come out of this. I don't even know if you could pass the EJPT if you had taken that class and then come out of the MIT graduate level course. So you can go ahead and listen to it. It is helpful if you're a total beginner, but I would not expect to come out with a job after listening to that course. So if MIT isn't going to have you ready to take the OSCP or even the EJPT, which is probably one of the most beginner exams, I would not recommend going to college. I doubt there's going to be any college better than MIT in the cybersecurity realm. You can learn more in six months on your own than you would in a bachelor's degree program in cybersecurity. So just think self-taught rather than going to college and wasting a bunch of money, and you can do it a lot faster. And then the second one is do not go to any boot camps. Boot camps are going to basically suck a bunch of money, and they'll promise you like the Security Plus certification, which you can actually do on your own without them. So the do list, this is what you should do. This is the route you should take. The first one is find a free course on YouTube. There are several of them out there on YouTube. They are totally free. Don't waste your money anywhere else because you can get the information for free on YouTube. I have one and it'll be linked to the end of this video and also in the description. You can watch that and it will give you a good healthy start into going through the ethical hacker journey to getting a job so that's the first one and when you're watching the videos or the free courses any youtube videos or free courses be curious and look everything up you need to be willing to look up everything you come across that you don't understand and get used to reading really boring documentation it's going to be a useful skill that you will need so be curious look everything up after you finish the free course or uh, several free courses or you feel more comfortable like information starting to be repetitive, go to Hack the Box and look through the easy boxes, watch walkthroughs on the boxes. You can even do the, the boxes as you do the walkthroughs, but I would recommend watch the walkthroughs, then do the box and do about 20 or 30 of these. I think I have it. Yeah, do around 20 or 30 of these boxes with the walkthroughs and then after you go through 20 or 30 this will take you probably at least a month go back through at the beginning of those exact same boxes and redo them without any help or any walkthroughs and this will really help you with the mindset so the next one is take the ejpt after you've done about 20 or 30 boxes i would say take the ejpt see how close you are to passing and maybe you'll pass um, and just see how close you are. If you pass, then I would say you're ready to purchase the course for the OSCP and actually go through the course material and start working towards the exam. If you're close to passing the EJPT but not, I would, I would say don't retake it, don't waste your money. Uh, but go to Proving Grounds, put out by Offensive Security, and do the easy paid boxes. And if you can do about 50% of these, you will then be ready to start the uh, OSCP course. 
So that's kind of the way I would say go about this. Once you pass the OSCP, focus a little more on studying Active Directory and the terminology, and then you can start applying to jobs. So this is the walkthrough that I would pretty much tell anyone to go through. This is this is the course I would say to take in order to get into cybersecurity.